A lot of persons do not realize that there was a significant amount of U-boat activity in the Caribbean. According to undersea Tobago diver Derek Chung, our waters are littered with relics as they were the site of a number of World War II battles. On September 15, 1942, a German U-boat attacked a British steam power merchant ship, the SS Kyoto. She was sailing out of convoy, uh, coming past Scarborough, when she was caught by a U-boat uh, captained under, um, under the command of Hans Jürgen Offermann, and that was U-514. She was torpedoed twice and then drifted. The attack was close enough to be witnessed by persons at Fort King George. Mr. Chung was able to contact second radio officer on board the SS Kyoto, Charles Stieg, who gave this account of the attack. Charles says in his, in his, in his recounting, he says, the U-boat surfaced passed no more than 50 meters past in front of me. And I could clearly see the officers on the cutting tower. And I think he was, they were pretty worried that um, they would be machine gunned in the water. Fortunately, the Germans did not, and Charles Teague survived. He passed a few years ago. 15 crew members were lost on that day. There was one Trinidadian that, that was a, um, he worked in the engine room spaces um, I, his name was Abdullah, and his surname was Abdullah. It is believed he is buried in Tobago, but Chong has not been able to locate his final resting place. The U boat returned later that day and shelled the SS Kyoto, and she sank in 40 feet of water. Today, the wreck can be dived. At the bow of the ship, you'll find the, the, the bits which is where the rope. Uh, tie off on, um, anchor chain is still there, the anchor winch, and as you come further on, uh, back more midship, you'll find the cargo hatches, you'll find loading winches. According to ship logs, SS Kyoto was a merchant ship and was not expected to be carrying any ammunition. However, one of the interesting things is that we've been finding unexploded munitions around her. Um, we're looking at um, several 250-pound and 500-pound um, bombs with, what, that you would drop from an aircraft. Chung suspects the wreck may have been used as target practice by the Americans stationed in the country close to the end of the war. Even after all this time, the bombs may still be live and caution is strongly advised if diving close to the site. Candace Jackson, Channel 5 News.